Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this tutorial, I will show you in Python using Django Web Framework how to call a store procedure to display records in the browser from MySQL PHP My Admin Database. And now we got the perfect output. We have called the data from MySQL PHP My Admin Database using store procedure in Python Django. This is a table and this is a store procedure name. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part to call the store procedure, first we'll check the table in PHP My Admin Database. The table name is the employee which contains four columns, EMP ID, first name, last name and email. Now my aim is, I want to fetch records from this employee table using stored procedures. So first let's create a new stored procedure. This employee table I have created in this sample db database. So let's go up. This is a sample db database. And in the sample db database there is a procedures folder. Select that one. Come to the bottom to create a new stored procedure. Add routine. Let's give our stored procedure name which is get employee records is my stored procedure name. Let's add sp. Now I don't require these parameters, just drop that column. Now the definition is select stuff from the table name is employee table. The employee table. This is the employee table. Let's add this employee table. Click go. And if you check, the get employee records SP has been created. Come to the bottom. See here, the get employee records SP is created successfully. Let's execute. Go top, and here we got the results of the employee. We fetch records using this stored procedure get employee records sp. Now let's call this stored procedure in Python. Now, the first step when we want to create a new project in Python using Django Web Framework, first we require one new folder. So, I'm creating a new folder in this local disk D drive. Right click the mouse new folder and the folder name is sp store procedure call is my project folder let's open this folder right now this folder contains empty so now let's add a new now let's create a new project in this folder sp iphone call i'm using visual studio code to run the python programming so let's create a new program, close the welcome page, go to file, open folder. In the open folder, our project name is, the folder name is sp iPhone call, select folder. And after that, and here our project folder is added to the explorer. Right now, this folder contains empty. See? So, let's create a new project. Go to view, click terminal. Now, in the terminal, now let's create a project Django iPhone admin stack project, and the project name is call store procedure is my project name click enter and notice the call sp is our project name is added successfully in this project now let's expand this project see there is a subfolder called sp and below that there is a manage.py python file let me expand this subfolder also 
And notice there are default Python files are added automatically when I created a new project called SP. So let's check. So here we got the call SP. Now the next step, let's close this welcome page. First let's run the server python manage.py, I am adding this file name python file manage.py, run server, oops, we need to add this call sp, cd call sp, enter, now in this call sp we have the manage.py. So now let's run the server, python manage.py, run server, click enter. And here we got a message, no issues found and this is our server name. Click control and click the mouse. And here we got our default home page of our web server. Now let's write the coding part. First, we'll add a new template folder. So first, let's add a new folder called templates. I'm selecting the root folder, the project folder called SP. Right click the mouse, click new folder. Let's give the folder name is a templates and inside this templates I am adding the HTML page. Right click the templates folder, click new file and index, index.html. So let's add the doc type. I am closing the HTML tag, inside this HTML I am adding the header section, in the header section I am adding the title called store procedure feature and after the headings I am adding the body tag, inside this body I am adding h1 tags how to call stored procedure in MySQL PHP my admin. And H2 Python. Django Web Framework. After that, I am adding the horizontal line. Now, after the horizontal line, I want to display records in a HTML element table. So, I am adding the table element here. Inside this table element, I am adding the border property. The border is equals to 1. Then, the next step, I am adding TR. Inside this TR, I am adding table headers. The table headers are in our table, we have four columns EMP ID, first name, last name, and email. Let's add those table headers employee ID. The second table header is the first name. Table header, last name. And the last column header is the email. After headings, I am adding the another TR for the table data. Here the table data. Here the data we are getting from the database. So first, let's save this HTML file. Save all. Now the next step, let's add a models folder. 
and the subfolder called SP, right click the mouse, new file, models.py. And here we got the models.py. I mean, it's models.py. First, I'm importing the class from django.bb import. I'm importing the models class. After that, I'm adding the class. The class name is get emp details. Inside this class, I'm adding the models dot model colon. Now in this class, I'm defining the uh, properties. First one is the uh, in our table we have four columns. The employee ID is the auto generated column, so I'm not adding that one. So I'm adding the three columns: first name, last name, and email. First name is equals to models dot um, cat field max underscore length and gth is equals to 100 the second one is the last name copy this one paste here and the last column is the email email is equals to that's it we have added our properties in this class get emp details now let's save this file also save all now we require the views to call these models again select the call sp the subfolder of our project right click the mouse click new file and the file name is of views.py in this views.py let's import from Django dot shortcuts import the class name is a uh, render from Django dot db database import connections and the last one we add our models also from our project name is a call sp dot in the models file is in our project folder and call sp import I'm importing the class name from this models which is a get emp details copy and press here in this views page our friends here this is collection connection this is connection now let's define the function def the function name is um, show details show details is a function name a request column first let's declare the variable cursor is equals to connection dot cursor method to execute the stored procedures we require the cursor method so that's why I have added the cursor method now we'll execute the stored procedure we'll call the stored procedure cursor dot execute execute call between single quotes I'm adding our stored procedure name cursor dot execute method in this execute method we'll call our stored procedure call between single quotes our stored procedure name is get emp records sp call that one and then let's declare the variable results is equals to cursor dot fetch all method then then the last step function must return return 
a render method in this render method I'm adding the first request between single quotes I'm adding the index.html page this page I'm adding in the views index.html comma and the last property between curly braces so I'm creating the dictionary between single quotes the class name get emp details colon results this variable I'm adding here that's it let's save this file file save all now the next step we need to configure the URL so now in our project there is a urls.py file open that one come to the bottom and notice in this URL patterns we got the default path of the admin which I don't require so let's comment that one with the hash create a new path between single quotes in this single quotes I'm not adding anything now let's call the views which is our Python page so before that let's import from dot import I'm importing views and now we'll add the views page vi uh, views dot in our views we have to call the function name that's it let's save this file we have configured the, the url also the, the last step in the settings.py open that one in the settings.py first uh, we need to install apps between single quotes we need to add our project name which is a call sp call sp next come to the bottom when we want to render the HTML templates we need to configure the base directory so in the template section notice the dirs directories will add our base directory so os.path dot join I'm joining the base directory base directory in the base directory our HTML page contains in the templates folder so between single quotes I'm adding the templates folder the folder name then the last step come to the bottom in the databases section notice the SQLite 3 which is a default uh, database connection string so which I don't require I want to connect to my SQL so the engine name is django.db.backends.mysql and the name is delete this default one and our name here the database name go to the database name is a sample db let's add that one sample db then the next one is a user colon between single quotes I'm adding my username is root now the password we need to add our capital letters password colon here the password I'm not entering anything because I don't have any password to log into my PHP my admin database so I'm leaving blank if you have any password please enter that one now the next step we need to add the host host the host is a local host comma and the port number here the port number of my SQL PHP my admin is double three zero six let's add but that one also between single quotes I'm adding double three zero six comma and the last one is the options column between curly braces I'm adding between single quotes init underscore 
init underscore command command column between double quotes I'm adding set SQL underscore mode is equals to between single quotes I'm adding strict underscore trans underscore tables that's it we have configured our database connection string in this settings.py now the last step in the index.cshtml to fetch the records from step procedure I'm using for loop so in the tr between curly braces percentage for I'm declaring a variable is display in I'm adding the class name and the models the class name is a get AMP details copy this one get AMP details between double curly braces in this expression I'm adding the display display this object dot I'm adding the zero the zero is the first column which is the employee ID TD between curly braces I'm adding display dot one TD between curly braces I'm adding display dot two td between curly braces display dot three so in our table we have four columns I have added zero one two three the index numbers then the last step we need to close our for loop percentage percentage and for that's it let's save this file save all oops here we got some error Whoa. here in the views page actually we have to put in the double quotes the whole thing now let's save this file sorry for that Friends, here this for loop we need to add here, and I'm closing this for loop after the tr. Now let's save this file. Save all. Now the final step: we check the output. So this is our default home page. Now I am reloading the browser. So here we got the default output. Oops, yeah. Let's check this one. We forgot to add the curly braces. Save. I'm reloading the browser again. And now we've got the perfect output. We have called the data from my SQL PHP my admin database using stored procedure in Python Django. This is a table and this is a stored procedure name. That's it.